Namaste. Welcome. So welcome to the yin class. We focus on freedom. Yesterday was uh, the day of the freedom in Holland. Um, so I think it was a good uh, subject to use in this class. And especially the hips, we hold a lot of tension. So we go work around the hips. So sit in a comfortable seat to make our intention. So close your eyes, bring your hands in front of the heart, stretch the spine all the way up to the ceiling, the sitting bones all the way down into the floor. Here make an intention to give respect and gratitude or just to remember that you are here right now in this place when we do yoga. And also remember and give respect and gratitude to the time we're living in. That we have time to practice in yoga. And then also respect and gratitude for yourself, who you are. So important, especially to experience freedom. And then also very important to have respect and gratitude for everything that's around you. And as well as respect and gratitude for the old wisdom and knowledge that we still can learn from to feel good, to be good, and to create a better world around us. So from that, you open your eyes, you bring your soles together, your hands down, and you start to round in the spine one by one vertebra, you roll down. Let to release tension on the back and see how far you can go. Maybe you want to go today a little bit more into the hips, but still also the spine, the back neofascial layer is important because there we create a lot of tension. Once we have their muscles who help us to sit straight, to walk, and to walk, and all these important muscles, but we use them very much. And we react also on stress. They put tensing up, and then the fascia is tensing up, and drying out in the next day. And then when the fascia is dead, drying out, she cannot feel energy like us. Important to open the gateways on the back side of the body. And you choose a melting down, no resistance, no working against the posture. And you feel that the body is doing that, wanting to go out all the time. Just use more props. Important is that you are staying relaxed. And remember, no sharp shooting pains and joints, no electric sensation, no sleeping parts, body parts. This deep, nice stretch that can be sometimes very nice and releasing. And give you more feeling of freedom. And sometimes you have to go through something. Maybe issues you walk away from, issues you don't want to face. And that's also blocking your freedom. And to run away from it, it's not a sensation. You have to look what you see and go through it sometimes. A lot of pain and sadness over and over again. Sometimes you feel like an evening pose. Like a sadness coming up, but maybe it's not clear what it is. Over and over, you do it, but you 
most different and run away from me. Just look with honest eyes. What is that? Of course, when it's getting really, really intense, maybe it's really too much. Then I just step back. And softly, one by one, little parts, you have to look. And really, really give you a lot of strong feelings and emotions. So I'd say come back to the breath. Come back into the moment. So come back to these five points of respect and gratitude. Realize that you're in this room now, practicing yoga. That it's this time, this moment. 6th of May, 2020. Respecting yourself, who you are. So the alarm went so slowly, slowly coming up. And stretch your spine. Just take a deep breath, bringing your head backwards. And then the next posture will be the dragonfly, the wings to freedom. So when the stretch is on the inside or you feel it only by your knees, then the attachment of these muscles are maybe a little bit irritated. So then it's not good to really go into this stretch. So little support just by the knee under the knee will help when you feel like you're pulling all the way backwards go sit on something higher and bring also something under the knees that they don't <clears throat> collapse all the way in over stretching and uh, then let's turn to the left then you can also bring a lot of props here and we cause we bending forwards to the leg. And another thing, if maybe it's not helping or maybe you don't have the props to support the knee, then you can bend one knee and then turning over. And the stretch is a little bit more into the side flank and less on the inner legs, but that's fine too. So choose. And then you surrender again. Relax the legs when your feet are falling in. If you can see it on my feet, it's falling in. That's totally fine. My sitting bone is also coming a little bit off the mat. That's fine too. And so if this the, the focus is more on the side then then it's important. But with this one, it's totally okay. Uh, when it's not feeling okay, then it's probably not okay in your body. So then use more props. So here had the target areas again, the backside, opening the gateways of the spine and working on the inner legs. And the inner legs, that's the area where we really create a lot of tension, especially when we have fear, when we have anxiety, or when yeah, things are uh, really dangerous maybe, uh, in, in what you experience or what you experience over and over in your mind, then all this muscle go contracting in a protecting uh, position. So now just open there. And the chi flow. And observing what happens. Sometimes it's totally physical, physical body you really only feel. And sometimes uh, these strange feelings are popping up. Sometimes like a 
feeling not any well. Sometimes even with nauseous or dizziness. And first, when you have this, you know, step your breath. See how you're breathing. And make sure the breath is coming down into the belly. If that's not helping, then maybe it's better to go out of the posture and to sit straight. But it can be also like, like a little, it's just a moment of that, you know, it's very busy. Just stay observing. How do you feel? And then the timer goes so slowly coming up. Do what you need to do or go right into the next side. Yeah. Slowly, slowly. Changing my hair. Relax the legs. When the feet are falling in, that's totally okay. Don't work against that. Keep moving. Let the body following the way of bless your system. But always respect. When you feel like a sharp shooting pain, and you need more support. And then again, you will come in that state of observing. Observing the posture, the physical body, but also the emotion and mental body. What's going on here? You don't walk away from it. We don't put everything in back in our tissues. Our issues are in our tissues. Especially the area around the hips, like it's storage of all things and emotions we don't want to face, we want to bury and go on. Living in freedom, but when we still have in that belly, we never can lose that feel of freedom. Uh, it's, uh, it's good to, to face it, to look, to accept it. And then, not to include it, it's okay. It's a part of you. And then, you feel the wings of freedom.
Slowly, slowly coming up again. And here again, do what you need to do. Maybe rolling your shoulders, maybe just a little bit relaxed because the last one is in the middle. So finding the right position of the legs, the props, maybe a lot of props in front. Maybe I use a cushion too today. And then you just climb all the way down. Target area had the inside of the leg. Feel the outside of the spine, the hamstrings. This one, I think a lot of people experience a lot, a whole lot of sensations and irritation in the system. So use here this Ujjayi breath, this ocean breath, or I call it always the dragon breath. And if you're having the sound, creating resistance with the focal cords, like whispering. Like whispering your breath, breathing into the nose and breathing out to the nose.
And then on the next inhalation, you're coming up. Remove your cushion. Now bending your left knee and bring your left leg like a half butterfly. Lean to that side and swing your right leg backwards. You can stay with the knee bent and then coming forwards. When you feel like you can stretch your whole leg and coming in the sleeping swan. So when your knee is painful, make sure your heel is close in, close by the pivot bone. If that's not helping, then bend your back knee and stay like in a dragonfly. Important is always that the weight is into your hip and not into your knee. So when the weight is in the hip, maybe your knee is coming up, then come a little bit more into the center down. If that's not working, it's still too much, then just flip over, lying down on your back, holding your knee and holding your ankle and then slowly stretch your leg. That's like you can decide how far, how you want to have the leg, where the knee is fine, maybe just only bending and bringing your knee close. And of course, when you're in the sleeping spot and you want to feel a little bit more, then bring your foot more forwards. And when the knee is fine, maybe your hip is coming up and you want to bring something under your uh, left hip. And then also here on the front, you can bring props, knee, and then sinking down, melting down in the posture. If you like, you can pick up again the Ujjayi breath, the dragon breath. In a soft way that's helping you to calm the mind. And to calm your system. And now have the third areas in the hip. The left one, maybe the left was in front. Little stretch, little extension in the right hip flexors, the left one is on the back. And for some who want to work a little bit more in that, they can reach with the left hand to the back and pull on it. And even with two hands.
And then stretch your arms and your hands under your shoulders. Stretch your back leg when you are in deer pose. Put your right back toes into the mat and push yourself back to a downward dog or maybe all fours with the knees down. Here, just move a little bit. And then when you're ready, come lying down on your belly. Bringing your elbows on your shoulders. Maybe with a cushion under your chest. And for other that want to go more in a deeper back bending, then stretch your elbows and turn your fingertips a little bit out like a seal. And, and then really come into the lower spine. Just relaxing your shoulders so that's meaning that you're sinking a little bit in. So you don't have to be active, just sink a little bit in. If the lower spine is painful, then come more on the elbows or a little bit in between with the cushion under your elbows. And then close your eyes. And just see the opening on the front. I think a lot of people don't will feel a stretch there. Maybe when you did some app <laughs> training. I did for fun yesterday this workout from Jane Fonda. <laughs> so I feel my abdomen, so I feel the stretch now. I heard also my calf muscles. <laughs> so I was not using to this aerobic exercise. So <laughs> when you do that, then the yang practice of yoga is really yin, actually. So this aerobic workout of Jim Fonda, that's really, really young. But anyway, try to feel the opening of head, the heart, the long area, stomach area you create there as space, freedom. And when we are not in freedom, when we are in protecting mode in our body, then the front is uh, collapsing or coming together. An angry cat is putting his spine all the way up. That's what we do also. We're protecting the inside, the lungs, the heart, the belly, the inside, the inner legs. So everything what's doing flexion, that's like bending, like a fetus position. That's what we go into protecting it. So now we do the opposite. So now we, we're flying out, we're opening the chest. It's also just feel the physical freedom you create for the lung and heart. Maybe take a deep breath in and a big saw out. Do that a couple of times, not too much, because you don't want to change the rhythm of the breath. And bring head the normal breath back again in the body.
inhale slowly, slowly you come down. Take your time there. When you're ready, bringing your legs together, then push yourself up to a child's pose. And from child's pose, come to downward dog. And then bringing your right knee forward, your shin down, your toes watching to the left, just sinking down, and maybe more in a deer pose, set to for safety for the knee, bring the weight into your right hip, bending your back leg and coming down, or flip over again. And Lying down on your back, holding your knee and ankle so that there is no weight on the knee and you can decide who, how far you want to go with the leg. And so target area of the hip, the right hip, no pressure pain, shooting pain in the knee, because it's a asymmetric posture. We do also something in the SI joint, the hip flexor on the back. And we, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can catch your toe. So the easy one is uh, with the opposite. And maybe you want to go with both and, and going down. Again, the dragon breath, the Ujjayi breath, it's soft.
And then slowly, slowly you bring your hands on your shoulders. This time leaning all the way into your right hip so you can swing your left leg forwards. And then in one movement you go lying down and you stretch your right. The left is like swinging all the way to your side. And then bringing your left arm wide open like in a diagonal line twist, you're really opening the front, the chest, the heart, and the stomach into head a straight leg. If that's not comfortable in your body, uh, bend and bring both knees together. And so see what you like. And then just close your eyes and just relax here. Just See what's coming, it's arriving, thoughts, feelings, sensations. Just be there. Just be in the moment.
And then slowly you turn back to your spine. You bring your arm back. You bring your spine in the middle of the mat. And now we do the other side. Maybe go with both legs set to one side or to the left. Or bending your right knee, stretch your left, move your left a little bit over to the right, then twisting over, stretching your right arm wide open. Bring cushions under your knees, into the spine, under your shoulder. So make it comfortable, but that you really feel that there's something going on. The release and stretch and opening and creating freedom in your body space. So that she can flow freely. Life force can flow freely.
and then slowly, slowly return back to your spine again in the middle. Stretch the legs, stretch the arms. Just feel now the rebound of the practice. Sensations, tinglings, freedom, space. Being alive. Rest in that field.
stay as long as you like. Relaxation. Or come out to move a little bit to waken up. And then your knees are turning your side and then from your side in a soft way. You're coming up to sitting and starting your day or maybe coming to this new evening while you sleep. So thank you for joining me and have a very beautiful day. Namaste.